What's up, my fearless networking friend, Todd Falcone here. Uh, so, this, so I think this is going to hit a couple of people smack dab in the nose. Uh, and I'm going to ask you just a straight up question. And I want, I want you to, to be honest with yourself. That's one of the things about being an entrepreneur. When we don't have someone else, a boss holding us accountable, a teacher or a parent when we're a kid holding us accountable, and your, your upline, your sponsor, they're really not going to hold you accountable. They're going to go work with the doers, right? They're going to go work with the people that are showing up. So the question is, okay, and I want you to ask this question. I'll ask it the way I would ask myself. Am I a learner or am I an implementer? Am I a learner or am I an implementer? Okay. Another way of phrasing it is, am I a producer or am, I con or, or am I a consumer, okay? Now, what's interesting, and there's different ways that we can build the business. Uh, I think anybody who has been in network marketing for more than a couple of weeks uh, should come to the conclusion that if you're going to grow a business, you need to be out there intentionally growing the business and have clarity on what that means. Like what is growing a business? What does it entail? What does it involve? And unfortunately, some people get lost in, or they lose themselves in the, shu the shuffle. I don't, you know, they either get lost or they lose themselves in the shuffle or probably more realistically for, or for a greater majority, they uh, get caught up in their brain, in their head, and it's like, I'm not good enough, and I'm scared, and what if I'm judged, and all of the what ifs of the world, right? What if I fail? What if I screw up? What if I say the wrong thing? What if they're not my friend? What if, you know, whatever. What if I succeed? What if they join me? Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I don't know what I'm doing. So what they do instead, oftentimes, is they become these consummate consumers, and you know, or learners. And learning is great. Uh, I mean, I suppose like being, if we were to go, okay, are you a learner or an implementer or neither, none of the, none of the above, I suppose it's probably better to be a learner than none of the above, meaning you're just doing nothing. You're just hanging out on the sofa. <laughs> uh, but if you're in the business, you have a distributor ID number, you in your brain, in your mind, you have this desire, this want, this this intention that you want to do something with it, that you want to make this work, that you want to make it profitable, that you want to succeed in this business, then you cannot get stuck in learner mentality. Now, look, again, nothing wrong with learning. Learning is a big part of what we do. You do need to be learning. You do need to be learning, but you've got to be implementing. You know, and there's a lot of people, and maybe somebody who's watching or listening to me right now is one of those individuals. They're like, dude, you're talking to me. Like I, you know, I'm 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 in the business and I show up for all the events and I show up for the Zooms and I'm like in this, you know, you know, cons consumer mode. I'm just like, I'm taking it all in. I'm consuming the, the information, the intel. I'm feeling the energy, but then there's no action. And that's a very bad place to be in. I don't know. I mean, I, I think that, that to some extent there's incongruency in your soul if that's the case, because here you are, you're consuming with intent, right? Or you're, or you're, you're learning with intent. You're learning with the intent of implementing. But then if you fail to implement, it's like you're, it's, you're, like you're not in integrity with your own self. It's like, okay, one, it's like, you know, it's, it's like part of you wants to, but the other part doesn't. It's like, and I'm not, I won't go into a parts integration model on this one. This would take this, this, <laughs> this would take this episode and turn it into an hour. And I'm, I don't have the time for it today. But the important thing for you is to be, be real with yourself and ask yourself, am I learning and implementing? Because that's the thing, right? Uh, or am I just learning and not implementing? And, you know, a phrase that I didn't make up the phrase, knowledge is power. Sir Francis Bacon made up that phrase in the 1800s. 
And unfortunately, he's dead and he's not here to argue with me. But if, if he was here sitting in this office and he said, yeah, man, knowledge is power, I'd be like, no, dude, it's not. Um, what? <laughs> you know, what do you mean? It's, I, I, that's my statement from 1800 and whatever it was. Well, you know, not, no, no, knowledge is great. I'm not knocking the knowledge. Knowledge is wonderful. But it's the application of the knowledge that, that makes the difference. What's the purpose of knowledge about something or about how to do something if you're not going to apply it into the business, if you're not going to execute upon it? So, like, for me, I've made it a point uh, in my learnings, if it's a book or uh, an audio or a video or whatever format it comes in, that learning that, that comes in or, or a conversation with someone or however it comes to me, if, 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 I'm, if, I'm, if I'm learning that thing and, I, and I'm thinking to myself, well, that thing could be good in my business, then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to begin implementing it into my business. I'm going to start applying it into my business. And like, I won't read a book without, like my, the, my intention, if it's a business book, of course, right? Which per, that's pretty much almost all I read are business books. I don't really read, I mean, I read for pleasure and I read for leisure, but my pleasure and leisure is business. So for somebody else, it might be a love novel or some murder mystery or something. Uh, for me, it's, okay, how can I, you know, further my knowledge in my business? So I can, and again, think about it, this is my thought. How can I further my knowledge uh, from this book uh, to then apply this into my business to get a better result? So I will literally take things from the book or even, I mean, even from emails, I've gotten emails from people like they're even like marketing emails or trying, somebody's trying to sell me something. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Wow. That's, that's really well structured. That's interesting to me. What if I applied that into my business and, and I, then, then I've done and I've gone and applied it directly into my business and gotten results. I mean, I, I can think of one quick example. I, there was a Frank Kern email that I got, I don't even know, 18 years ago and he was pitching me something in that email. And I thought, wow, that's just a really well-positioned way of doing things. What if I took this into my business and I applied it? I went on a cruise ship. I think I made like 15 grand while I was on a cruise ship or something. Like, and I, would, I would have never made that money had I not implemented what I saw in that marketing email. So it wasn't even, it was, that was a kind of, so the learnings can come from different directions. It can be like intentional learning where you're reading a book, or you're watching a video, or you're going through a course, or you're, you're, you're you know, actively doing something, or it just come, comes at you. You know, it comes at you in some format. Like even, like even the other day I had something happen. I'm not going to get into it right now, but I had something happen while I walked into this yoga class and it was, you know, immediately it gave me a thought and the thought is, is already being implemented. So it was like, wow. And, and actually like I, I, it was clear in my mind. And then I, I was, I left yoga and I was all sweated out and I was like, whew, got home, took a shower. And I was like, what was, what was that idea? And it took me like 12 hours to like have it come back to my brain. By the way, it's th there's another thing that's really important. Like if you have some cool idea, like it's, a, it's, you know, ideally having, you know, you can't always have a journal next to you, but like if you come up with some brilliant idea, something cool that you want to implement in your business and you're like, oh man, that would be awesome. That would be, oh yeah. And, but you don't have like an instrument to write on, go into your voice recorder or go into your notes because sometimes that stuff go, just goes away. It's kind of like a dream. Have you ever woken up from a dream and it was like super vivid, but like 30 seconds later, you cannot recall at all what was going on in the dream, but, you know, so, you know. Again, I want you to ask yourself, am I a learner or am I an implementer? Or am I a learner who implements? That's where you want to be. All right. All right. That's enough for today. Appreciate you guys. If you're on my YouTube channel, love you, you guys on my YouTube channel. Keep plugging in there. Uh, podcasters that are listening to me on audio, appreciate you guys. And uh, if you're cruising around in your car, or wherever you're listening to me, wherever you are, I appreciate it. And the rest of the details on this episode, all sorts of other tools, resources, to help you succeed in network marketing are right here, toddfalcone.com forward slash episode 206. Again, T-O-D-D-F-A-L-C-O-N-E.com forward slash episode 206. That's this episode. Love to hear your comments and uh, we'll see you next time.